Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Martha and in today's video I will show you how to create this makeup look which is amazing for Christmas time, for holidays, it's a little bit of glam, a little bit of glow, it's almost anything you need for these special days. So if you want to know how you can create this makeup look, please keep watching. First, I apply my concealer. It's my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC30, like an eye primer. And I'm blending with my Real Techniques makeup sponge. Then I'm using my RT42 setting brush from Real Techniques with my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. From today's makeup look, I will use my Chocolate Orange Eyeshadow Palette from Makeup Revolution. I will start with a shade closer to the shade of my skin Then I'm taking a clean blending brush. I'm using a brush from e.l.f. I want to smoke this one out so it will be blended and without any harsh lines. Then I'm using the eyeshadow ribbon. And I'm applying this one on my crease. I want to create a, a depth on my crease, this is why I'm applying a deeper shade over there. I'm using another blending brush just to blend this with the previous shade. But I'm trying to keep this one more precise on the crease area and not so up blended with the previous shade now i'm going with something ever darker it's a chocolate brown called dessert I am applying this eyeshadow where the crease is, just under the bone, not further up or down to the lid. I want to create a more I want to create more depth in my eye and taking my blending brush again and blend this one upwards. Now we'll choose something even deeper for the outer corner of my eyelid. I think I'm gonna go with the shade, the eye shade called Sigment from the same palette. And I'm taking again my pencil brush and I want to apply this one in the outer corner of my eye. I'm tapping the product first and then I will blend it out. And then I'm blending the eyeshadow to the outer corner of my eye. And I will focus only in the outer corner. I'm taking my previous brush that I used for blending and blending this out. Let's go for a cut crease.
I'm creating a cut crease using a very small flat brush. Now I will use my uh, an eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. And at first I will go with the shadow in one, which is this one right here. And then I want to go with something more glittery because it's Christmas and who doesn't want a little bit more glow and glam during these days. I will take a brush like this, small. It's more precise and I will spray my fix plus and I will go for the shadow called Lush which is this one it's a little shimmery let's see how this one goes mm -hmm. not bad I would like to try another one Okay, I'm going for the gold one, which is called Gift. It's this one right here. Yeah, I like this one. I love it. so festive okay and then i want to blend the edges and i want the shade peel which is this one right here and i'm taking the pencil brush again just a little bit of this shade i apply it in the outer corner of my eye but in between the darker brown shade and the gold eyeshadow that we just that we just applied and i'm blending in and out a little bit more of this eyeshadow and blend it out now i think it's time for eyeliner and i'm using the essence waterproof eyeliner pencil I'm using my concealer to fix anything that I didn't like with my eyeliner and now I think I'm ready to move to the next step which is the rest of my makeup first of course I want to apply my eye cream for hydration if I don't keep my under eyes hydrated then my fine lines will show no matter what foundation or concealer I apply next and we're moving on to the next product which is my becca under eye brightening corrector in the shade medium to deep if you want to know more about the technique that i tried for my under eyes not to crease i will leave you a link so you can check the detailed video corrector is on and moving on to foundation for foundation i'm using the estee lauder double wear stay in place makeup in uh, the shade Tony 3W1 and I'm using my Real Techniques RT200 brush foundation is on and moving on to concealer I want to make sure that my under eyes have not creased after applying my corrector so 
For concealer, I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And then using a little bit of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer just to get a little more brightness. Making sure that there is no creasing. Now that we set our under eyes, it's time to move on to the eyeshadow in the lower lash line. First, I will use this shade right here. Blending it out. Then I will take the chocolate brown shade, which is dessert shade. This one right here. Blending it out again. And then I will go with the even darker brown of this palette, which is called Sigment. And it's this one. Blending them all again. Moving on with the brows. I need something under my brow bone just to be a little more bright. I uh, will use this shade right here. I also like to take the eyeliner just a little bit further to the inner corner of my eyes. Moving on to contouring and bronzer, I will use my Makeup Revolution Blush Palette. So I'm taking this shade right here. And I'm using my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush, which is perfect to blend any contour, whether it's powder or cream, liquid, whatever you want. Moving on to blush, and for blush I'm using my Real Techniques 400 brush in my L'Oreal Life's a Peach shade. It's a nice peachy shade and I love this one.
And what I also like to do, I take my Makeup Revolution blush palette again because there are many beautiful shades in here. And I like to mix these two. With my RT402 setting brush, I'm taking the highlighter For mascara, I use my Essence I Love Extreme Volume Waterproof Mascara. Moving on to lips, I'm using the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. And for lipstick, I'm using from Smashbox the Be Legendary Lipstick in the shade Audition. Using my set spray. And this is the final look. I really hope you liked it and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel see my new videos every Wednesday. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.